hi everybody this is uh, Praveen I came up with one more lesson alien land and resources in this particular session we are going to discuss about uh, land resources of India and land utilization how the land of uh, India has been utilized under uh, different sections agriculture of India and its importance types of agriculture different types of agriculture and its uh, explanations and features are given here and uh, crop season Karif, Rabi and uh, Jed three crop seasons and their uh, uh, season and uh, particular uh, crops crop pattern important major crops and their uh, climatic condition to cultivate horticulture and floriculture so let's start uh, with the land utilization land is one of the very important resource how the land has been used and what is land utilization the distribution of land for different purpose the distribution of land for different purpose purpose here it may be for forest it may be for transport residential industrial a rail track canals there are many purposes the land has been used that is what we call land utilization the land utilization is based on different factors each and every part of India's land is 100% used is not 100% used some per percentage some uh, areas are used more some areas are left without in uses this inequality in uses is based on particular factors because of relief features their uh, topographical condition relief features climate soil based on population based on technical factors the land has been used for a different purpose how the classification of India's land resource zone area forest area land not available for cultivation fallow land fallow land means uh, land which is not uh, cultivated for some years cultivable wasteland permanent pasture miscellaneous use these are different types of land uses <coughs> agriculture agriculture you know that one of the very important and predominant occupation of Indians tilling of the soil for uh, rising crops raw materials needed by human beings is called agriculture the importance of agriculture is 65 percent people depend on this occupation and uh, economic progress progress is depends on this occupation it is a source of livelihood and it is a source of national income it increases the national income it is the provider of food and fodder food for the human beings fodder for the animals 
it encourages tertiary sector transportation banking tourism it supports industrial growth because industries are dependent on agriculture especially agro based industries are dependent on in uh, agro based industries dependent on agricultural field there are many types of agriculture practice types of agriculture one is a subsistence farming intensive farming commercial farming mixed farming plantation farming dry farming humid farming irrigation farming first one subsistence in this particular the man was cultivating the land for his own consumption just to lead the life the agriculture practice was just to lead the life for his own consumption that is called subsistence farming it is a very old and very primitive method there was no uses of uh, science and uh, technology there was no particular uh, tools and uh, uh, any other uh, things which used in agriculture this particular subsistence farming was practiced in northeastern states of india northeastern states under this category there are two types shifting and sedentary sedentary and shifting shifting is nothing but the word only tell you that shifting keep on shifting the agricultural area patch of forest is cleared and burnt and converted into cultivated land when the fertility has been lost the agricultural area will be changed that is shifting cultivation keep on changing the cultivation area this particular uh, method was uh, practiced in uh, among the tribals of northeastern states tribals northeastern states shifting cultivation is in different uh, names in different states zooming assam in kerala it is ponam in andhra pradesh it is podu sedentary one more uh, type under subsistence sedentary which is nothing but uh, settled fixed location the cultivation of land in fixed location that is nothing but sedentary and having all the characteristics of subsistence farming sedentary intensive farming intensive farming here uh, intensively a particular land has been cultivated large amount of capital and labor is applied and uh, intensively cultivated throughout the year num- many more number of uh, crops are cultivated three to four crops usually rise by the farmers to get uh, maximum production that is what we call intensive farming where there is uh, less availability of cultivation land there is intensive farming where there is a high density of population there is intensive farming commercial farming very simple the agriculture practice in which commercial crops are sown crops are grown for the market just for selling purpose mixed farming cultivation along with many more sub activities like uh, livestock rearing sericulture apiculture poultry piggery many more types in particular one field mixed farming it is it has been uh, introduced in india since 1951 mixed farming plantation the agriculture practice in which plantation crops are cultivated in a large estates it is also required more labor and more capital tea rubber coffee these are all plantation crops 
ड्राई फॉर्मिंग ड्राई फार्मिंग इज नथिंग बट कल्टिवेशन ऑफ लैंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन रेनफॉल वेर देर इज कैंटी रेनफॉल देर इज ड्राई फार्मिंग प्रैक्टिस इन पेनसलार इंडिया एंड राजस्थान वेर देर इज कैंटी रेनफॉल देर इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ ड्राई फार्मिंग ह्यूमिड फार्मिंग द्यूमिड फार्मिंग where there is sufficient rainfall where there is uh, more availability of rainfall more availability of uh, water there is humid farming irrigation farming irrigation is nothing but artificial supply of water to agricultural field is called irrigation so in india it is very essential there is a question irrigation farming irrigation is very essential in india why because rainfall is uneven uncertain and insufficient uneven uncertain insufficient so that there is a essential and uh, there is a need of irrigation in india and uh, crop season there are three types of crop season karif rabi jaif karif during rainy season rabi during uh, retreating monsoon season jaif between karif and rabi that is jaif during summer here we have to remember uh, which are the crops related to which season karif rabi and jaif rice that is karif wheat rabi watermelon and cucumber jaid let's move on to crop pattern cropping pattern what is the meaning of cropping pattern proportion of an area and different crops at given time is called crop pattern cropping pattern this cropping pattern is uh, different differ from place to place because maybe soil and uh, size of land and water and income of the farmers and technology these are all influence on crop pattern major crops in india here we focus on uh, climatic condition required for the cultivation of particular crops rice rice is a karif crop and tropical crop tropical temperature is required more temperature is required for this rice alluvial soil is best for this more rainfall more than 200 cm west bengal is the largest producer of rice wheat is a rabi crop it is a temperate temperate zone is suitable for this so that uh, 15 degree celsius is enough and a little amount of rainfall should be there 70 cm black soil is suitable for uh, wheat cultivation uttar pradesh is the largest producer of wheat sugarcane is a tropical crop and a native crop of india we have we have to remember native crop of india since it is tropical needs uh, more temperature that is 26 degrees celsius alluvial soil is better more rainfall around 150 cm uttar pradesh is the largest producer along with maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu tobacco it is a commercial crop tropical crop and uh, used for bd cigar hookahs and snuff since it is temper uh, tropical crop need more temperature 23 degree celsius sandy loamy soil medium uh, rainfall is required 5200 andhra pradesh is the largest producer cotton is a fiber crop it is an industrial crop and tropical crop it is a karif crop and uh, 24 degrees celsius black soil so we call it uh, black cotton soil because cot- uh, black soil is suitable for cultivation of cotton so we call it uh, black cotton soil 
Gujarat and Maharashtra are the leading producers of cotton. Tea. It is a beverage crop. What is the meaning of beverage crop? The crop which used for producing stimulating drinks is called beverage crops. It is a tropical crop basically and plantation crop. 25 degrees Celsius is enough. Mountain soil should be there which is uh, rich in uh, humus content and slopes of mountains required more uh, height is required I mean altitude more than 2400 is required Assam and West Bengal these are the leading producer of tea even in the world as well Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka also uh, tea cultivation is uh, available Horticulture. What is the meaning of horticulture? Intensive cultivation of fruit, vegetable, flower and aromatic plants is nothing but horticulture. Nowadays uh, it is more profitable because generate income and employment and it increases the export and uh, provide na nutritional security to the farmers. India is one of the very important uh, country of horticulture development because it shares 11% of global fruit market and 7% of uh, vegetable so one of the very leading important producer. Floriculture. What is the meaning of floriculture? Cultivation of flower is called floriculture plays very important role in uh, agriculture because generate income provide employment it increase the export some of the very important uh, states of floriculture that is Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra, Maharashtra, West Bengal these are the leading producers of flowers in India thank you for joining in this session. Thank you.